This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. Continuing on with our hydraulic series. In our previous Training Minute, we talked about the Q-squared method or the hand method or three inch hose, which is our baseline for the hand method, the Q-squared. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna continue on and convert from a three inch hose to a smaller hose and two and a half inch hose. So the conversion factor we would figure out here and then the rest of the steps will take you through to get there. So the Q-squared, we always start with the baseline of three inch hose and that is simply the gallons per minute we divide that number by 100, which is knocking off the zeros, and then we square that number times itself to get the three inch hose number. So as we go through this, I've left the gallons per minute up here from the last uh, training minutes video, and the divide by 100, and then the squaring part would give us a three inch number, and then we're gonna do the conversion to get to the two and a half inch number, okay? So baseline of Q squared, always starting with three inch hose. And then if we went up in hose size, we would take this and divide, but we're going from three inch to two and a half, so the friction loss would be higher, we're going to multiply. And to get to two and a half inch hose, we take Q squared times two. So once we get the three inch number, whichever gallon per minute we're using, that three inch number would go here, and then we would take that number times two to get the two and a half inch hose number, okay? So, flow size and length are what we always wanna figure out. Here's the flows we're working with right here. We're gonna stay within the realm for easy math, 100 to 500 gallons a minute. And in the previous training minute, I addressed how we would use the in-between numbers and how we would work with that using a hand method. So, a quick refresher. If I was dealing with a whole number, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, etc., the hand method is simply the palm sign is the multiplication sign, and then the gallons per minute across the top, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, you come across to whatever gallon per minute. You're going to knock off the zeros or divide by 100, and then Q squared. So 200 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 2 times 2 would give me 4 pounds of friction loss for 3 inch hose. So when we're doing this, that's always our baseline. And then we just have to take the extra step to convert it to two and a half, which is times two. So the in-between numbers, when you come across with those, let's say we're using 250 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 300. 250 falls between the two, so you can't come down to the palm and just square it. What you do for the shortcut here is you cross multiply between the two fingers. So, 250 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 300, 250 falls between there. Two times three would give me six. So for 250 gallons a minute, through three inch hose using the Q squared, it will be six pounds of friction loss. Okay? And then we're gonna convert here. All right? So let's start with a 100 gallons a minute. We've already done the divided by 100. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna do Q squared. I'll highlight that so it's now that's always our baseline. So Q squared, 100 gallons a minute, divide by 100 would be 1. The squared part, 100. Palm sign is multiplication. 1 times 1 will be 1. So for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose, along 100 gallons a minute, using Q squared, we get 1 pound of friction loss. To go to 2.5 inch hose, that doubles. So one times two, that would be approximately two pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of two inch hose, two and a half inch hose, flowing 100 gallons a minute. 200 gallons a minute. 100, 200, two times two would give me four. So for every 100 feet of three inch hose, there would be four pounds of friction loss to convert to two and a half inch hose times two. So there would be about eight pounds of friction loss. And then right on down the line, we can perform those same steps, and I'll stay in the whole numbers here, 300, 400, and 500. For three inch hose, the Q squared, three times three will give me nine. Times two will give me 18. 
So 18 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of two and a half inch hose pulling 300 gallons a minute. 400 gallons a minute, four times four will be 16. And then times two will be 32. So for every 100 feet of two and a half inch hose pulling 400 gallons a minute, there will be about 32 pounds of friction loss. And then 500 gallons a minute, we start getting out of the realm of maybe practic practicability. Uh, 500 gallons a minute, 5 times 5 would give me 25. For every 100 feet of 3 inch, there would be 25 pounds of friction loss. And then times 2, we'd end up with about 50 pounds of friction loss. All right? Our in-between numbers works the same, except we're not going finger to palm. We're going finger to finger here. So 150 gallons a minute, 100, 200. 1 times 2 is 2. So for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose for 150 gallons a minute, there will be approximately 2 pounds of friction loss. When I convert that to 2.5 inch hose, it's 4 pounds of friction loss. Come down here to 250 gallons a minute. So for every 250 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 2 times 3 is there, cross multiply, 2 times 3 is 6. For every 100 feet of 3 inch hose, Flowing 250 gallons a minute. There's about six pounds of friction loss. To convert that to two and a half inch, we double it times two, will be 12 pounds of friction loss. Move down here to 350 gallons a minute. 100, 200, 300. Three times four, we 12. For every 100 feet of three inch hose, flowing 350 gallons a minute, there'll be 12 pounds of friction loss. To go to two and a half inch hose, we double that times two, we 24 pounds of friction loss. And then finally, 450 gallons a minute, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 450 falls between the two, four times five is 20. For every 100 feet of three inch hose, flowing 450 gallons a minute, there's 20 pounds of friction loss. To go to two and a half inch hose times two will be approximately 40 pounds of friction loss. And again, if you if you wanted to go past 500 gallons a minute, the math would work right on up. Uh, the of practicability for two and a half inch and three inch hose, 100 to 500 gallons a minute. So that's a quick down and dirty look at the hand method for friction loss, starting with the three inch hose method, Q squared, and then converting to two and a half inch hose by multiplying times two. So Q squared times two, two and a half inch hose. That's today's training minute. Thank you.